It's been over 12 years since Fruit Ninja has been released on Android and I think it's time to give it a remake. Hi guys and welcome back. Today we'll be remaking Fruit Ninja inside of Unreal Engine 5 of course using blueprints as well as C++. In case you guys are interested to look into the source code as well as the assets I used, link to purchase that is down in the video description. The first 5 people to use the code GAMIAM NINJA will be getting 40% of the purchase as well. So let's begin shall we? In order to recreate fruit ninja we obviously need fruits and the bomb of course. So let's go ahead and create that right now. So we are done setting up the fruit as well as the bomb and we will add the functionality a bit later on. But one thing that we do need is the trail which is displayed when you swipe. So let's go ahead and create that. Also a quick side note here guys, almost 95% of you guys aren't actually subscribed. So it would be really helpful if you guys do subscribe. For any questions or suggestions you can join my discord server, link to that is down in the video description. Okay, so there we go, we have our swiping animation, but right now it's nothing more than a thousand count for loop spawning widgets every frame. In order to actually detect the hits and actually destroy the fruits, we need to draw a line from our camera to the point where we are swiping. In Unreal Engine, this can be done by using a line trace, which is similar to how hit scan weapons work in first person shooter games. Okay, so I did manage to get the line trace to work. However, we do not have a level to actually play the game in. So let's create that right now. Now, once we did create the level, we'll be using something known as a target point actor in order to determine the spawn points for our fruits as well as the bomb. To make the fruits spawn randomly, we'll simply be selecting a random number and based on what number it is, we'll be selecting the appropriate point to spawn the fruits or the bomb. In the actual game, the fruits are tossed up and simulating that requires physics. And I obviously don't know what that means. But thankfully, in Unreal Engine, you can simply use the Add Impulse node to nudge the fruits up. However, there is one small problem. The amount of impulse that is applied or even torque or any other quantity for that matter depends on your frame rate. In case you didn't understand, it basically means if you have a faster computer, your fruits are going to be tossed up with a greater amount of force, which is stupid of course. So I ended up locking the frame rate to 60 FPS since I was getting more than 60 every time. However, because of this, I did change the line trace to fire up more than 60 times a second because firing the line trace only 60 times a second would result in noticeable delay when you actually swipe through the fruits. So that's one compromise I had to make. Now 
Now let's get to the destruction of fruits. Previously in Unreal Engine 4 there used to be a system known as Apex Destruction and I was pretty well versed with that. However, in Unreal Engine 5 Epic wants you to use the experimental chaos system. So I guess then it's time to learn that and use it as well. Getting this to work however was easier said than done. Different objects would behave differently and there are many settings which you have to change in order to actually get the destruction to work properly. But in the end for the placeholder object for now, I think I'm pretty happy with the destruction. I think now it's time to replace the placeholders, but my modeling skills are questionable. But thankfully for us, we do have some assets from the marketplace and it's free to download. So let's use it then. So I think I'm happy with the results. However, right now the player has absolutely no idea of what his score is, how many lives he has left and so on. So I guess it's time to fix that. Now we are also going to go ahead and add in a start screen because right now the game immediately starts as soon as you open it up. And I also went ahead and create a widget to display the combo. Basically if you smash a fruit as soon as you smash another one, I will have a timer set up for that. So in that case you are going to increment your combo and once the time limit exceeds your combo will be reset to 1. That's how the system works. Of course you could have your own implementations if you plan on doing this. So there you have it, we got combos working in our game. So are we done yet? Well no actually, the destruction of fruits right now is purely cosmetic and we at least require some splash effects. So I guess then it's time to create it now. Now I am obviously not a visual effects artist so what I ended up doing is I grabbed a blood splash effect from my previous project Vengeance which was a multiplayer first person shooter game and I just ended up changing its color. So don't mind if the effects look a little bit sketchy. Now I think we do need a change from the boring background that we have now, so I think it's time to get in the big boys. 
Now we need some sound effects which were pretty easy to find on freesound.org. And yeah, I had to change the background because it was a little too distracting for me to actually work on the game. And at last I decided to add in an end round screen. Because right now, literally nothing happens when the game ends. And now, one last step, we need to save our actual game as well as we could do a couple of additional things such as saving the duration that the player played for and stuff like that. And all of this will be saved to his hard drive, so this list could be accessible through code later on. However, I'm not going to be implementing that. The basic idea for this video was to recreate the mechanics rather than the levels or the save features. So I guess we are done, now let's watch the gameplay. So that's it for this video guys, thanks for watching. If you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up as well as make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos.